So now that we know that the program generates virtual addresses, but the processor needs physical addresses to access the actual memory, let's see how the processor does the virtual to physical address translation. So the program generates a virtual address. This is what the load, for example, will compute as its address. The processor divides this address into the page offset part, which tells us where in a page we are, and the virtual page number, which tells us which page in the process are we talking about. If we have a 4 kilobyte page, 12 bits are telling us where in the page we are, and the remaining bits are telling us what the page number is. So let's consider the address FC51908B, which is a 32-bit address. The least significant 12 bits are telling us where in the 4 kilobyte page we are, so that's the page offset. The more significant bits are telling us what the virtual page number is. Now what happens is we take the virtual page number and use it as an index into the page table. In this case, the index into the page table will be FC519. So we find the entry with that index. What that entry tells us is what the frame number is that corresponds to this virtual page number. That is, where did we put that page in the actual physical memory? Let's say that the frame number in this entry is 00152. We take this physical frame number and put it together with the page offset into a physical address. And that is what we use to actually access the physical memory. In this example, the physical address is composed of the frame number and the page offset. So this is a 32-bit physical address that we will use to access the memory. Note that the page offset is present in both the virtual and the physical address. So from the virtual address, the least significant bits that correspond to the page offset do not change when we translate into the physical address. But the virtual page number does change because it gets translated into the frame number.